So I'm going to start hollowing it out and use a gouge. And I've realized that when I'm hollowing a boat out, um, you might think you need an elaborate jig to hold it securely while you're carving it, but I think it's heavy enough so you could just hold it in your lap as long as you don't chisel your leg. I just aim it, aim the chisel away from your leg. Well, obvious reasons. All right. Here's how you do it. That's how you do that part. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So I made like this cradle to hold on to the boat while I'm hollowing it out, which really also does save wear and tear on the legs when you're holding on to it. And I put two little clamps to keep it from sliding forward while I carve it. I just used scrap plywood and whatever I had lying around and I cut the the uh, shape like that and put it in there. I like to uh, frequently put my hand like this continually through the boat to uh, feel the thickness because I'm starting to get to a almost finished hollowing it out stage so I have to be careful not to carve too much away at any given point so I really again take my time feeling along with my hand and there's another way to tell the thickness which I'll show in the next clip.
It's quite thick at this end. There's a lot of weight in this end of the boat, so I need to carve more of that away. If you can see this but I'm holding the boat up to a very bright light and the light is actually shining through the wood and that's another way I can tell if I've carved away enough wood because it's getting very thin as opposed to down here where there's no light shining through. See where it's orange? Kind of blurry but you get the idea. Okay. So that's pretty much how you carve a wooden model sailboat hull. It's 98% done now, and um, when I finish it out, I'll see if I can make a video of the whole boat ready to sail. I think she looks pretty good. Thanks for watching.